solution of Laplace equation in cylindrical coordinate system. Laplace equation is del square psi is equal to 0. Uh, in cylindrical coordinate system, the operator del square is equal to 1 by h1 h2 h3 dou by dou u1 h2 h3 by h1 dou u by dou, dou by dou u1 plus dou by dou u2 h3 h1 h2 dou by dou u2 plus dou by dou u3 here dou by dou u3 okay 3 h1 h2 h1 h2 uh, h3 uh, h2 divided by h3 into dou by dou u3 uh, where h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to uh, h2 is equal to r, h3 is equal to 1 and u1, u2, u3 are r, theta and z respectively. So, if you want to uh, know the basics of this coordinate system uh, that is Cartesian uh, lap, uh, cylindrical coordinate system and uh, spherical polar coordinate system, I will share a link in the description box. You can watch if you need. Then the Laplace equation becomes that is this del square psi is equal to 1 by r here h1 h2 h3 h1 is 1 h2 is r and h3 is 1 so 1 into r into 1 is 1 by r then dou by u1 is r so dou by dou r of r into here also h2 h3 by h1 that is r into dou psi by dou r because u1 is r then the instead of h1 h2 h3 and u1 u2 u3 just substitute the value and uh, uh, this operator is operating on the function psi, okay, where psi is a function of r, theta and z. Now, we assume a solution of this partial differential equation in the form psi is equal to r into theta into z, where r is the function of r only, theta is the function of theta only and z is the function of z only. Then equation number 1 becomes, okay, we, instead of psi, we can substitute, instead of the psi, we can substitute r, theta, z, okay our normal procedure then we will get an equation like this then we just arrange it uh, theta z into 1 by r into dou by dou r here 1 by r 1 by r square uh, that means um, here 1 by r is a common term so 1 by uh, uh, I am taking 1 by r inside I am multiplying with the 1 by r each term here 1 by r then 1 by r into this r that is 1 by r square here 1 by r into here uh, in the numerator there is an r so r and r uh, will be cancelled okay so the equation becomes uh, 1 by r into dou by dou r r into dou by dou r into r theta z plus 1 by r square dou square by dou theta square r theta z plus <coughs> dou square by dou z square r theta z equal to 0 then theta z 1 by r into dou by dou r r dou r by dou r plus I am taking r and z outside. So r z into 1 by r square 1 by r square dou square theta by dou theta square here r and theta. It is not the function of z. Okay. Here z is the function of z. Therefore r theta into dou square z by dou z square is equal to 0. And dividing this equation throughout by r theta z then we will get this equation. Then uh, I am going to separate the variable. Okay. So, I am taking the uh, last term here. So, 1 by z into z term. That is 1 by z into dou square z by dou, dou z square is equal to and the remaining term is in the RHS side. So, we can equate each term that RHS side and LHS, RHS side, and LHS side uh, to a constant. That is 1 by z into dou square z by dou z square is equal to k square. That is equation number 4. Then uh, the RHS side is minus 1 by uh, R into R dou by dou R of R into dou R by dou R minus 1 by theta R square dou square theta by dou theta square is equal to K square. Now from equation 4 dou square Z by dou, dou Z square minus K square Z is equal to 0. Then uh, the previous uh, class that is the Laplace, uh, the Laplace equation in Cartesian coordinate system uh, we saw the similar kind of equation and the solution is uh, the, it, it, there is a, a presence of exponential term, isn't it? So, z is equal to c1 into e to the power kz plus c2 into e to the power minus kz. So, that is equation number 6. Then from 5, okay, from 5, 
we have to multiply this equation phi with r square because uh, here it is theta term but one r square term is present here. So, in order to avoid this or eliminate this r square we can multiply this equation with the r square. So, our equation becomes this one then in the in this part that r square is eliminated in this part ok. So, the equation becomes like this then uh, uh, we are taking uh, the theta term in one side and uh, uh, remaining term on the other side ok. I took that term and I equate it to a constant. I am taking this constant as m square. Now, each term is equated to a constant ok. So, first term minus 1 by theta dou square theta by dou theta square is equal to m square that is uh, 1 by theta dou square theta by dou theta square is equal to minus m square. Therefore, the equation is in this form that is dou square theta by dou theta square plus m square theta is equal to 0. Here we got this kind of equation then the solution is this one. Here uh, this solution has a cos and sin terms here that is the solution of the form theta is equal to C3 cos m theta plus C4 sin m theta that is equation number 7. Now, uh, the next term this term ok RHS side it is equated to a constant. Now, k square r square plus r by r into dou by dou r of r into dou r by dou r is equal to m square. Then, I am uh, taking this m square in this part which is equal to 0. Then, I am multiplying multiply this equation with the r ok. So, I am getting this equation. So, this is a Bessel differential equation. This equation has the form of Bessel differential equation and we know, we know the solution of Bessel equation ok. That is a solution is r is equal to c5 jm kr plus c6 uh, j minus m kr. So, this is the solution. Then our general solution is psi is equal to r into theta into z. So, we can substitute the value of r theta and z here. So, this is our general solution. 